So first things first, we will need a place for your baby chicks to brood. That's what we call a group of baby animals. In this case, chicks. It's called a brood. The place you will keep them safe until they can go outside is called a brooder. And when a hen's only wish in life is to hatch her eggs, we call her broody. She will sit and sit and sit on those eggs. She won't eat, ugh. Anyway, back to the brooder. Now, lots of people use different things. Some will use a plastic tub, but because of the heat lamp that we have to use to keep them warm, sometimes the plastic can let off a funny smell, and sometimes it could even melt or burn. Some folks will just use a cardboard box. But again, with the heat lamp, sometimes the box can catch on fire. We prefer a metal crate. We bought one used from a neighbor. We made a fabric enclosure for the bottom edge to keep the pine shavings in, but let the top open for good airflow. The key to any good coop or brooder is that the top quarter or 25% of the enclosure have good airflow and that the main or bottom part should not be drafty at all. This is great to have also when you might have an ill or injured adult chicken in the future so that you can isolate them and take care of them. Or if you find out that one of your chicks is a rooster and then you have to rehome him because the city won't let you have crazy loud roosters and so you bring him in at night and he eats blueberries on the couch till bedtime. So yeah, that. We also like the kennel because by week two, your little chicks are ready to hop up on branches and stuff and it's easier to set them up within the bars of the kennel. Well, that's a place to live. Check out our other videos on taking care of chickens every day.